Unbelievable. I'm the man of 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 the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo. Hey, Joe. Hey, Charlie. Hey, you Joe. Hey, Frank. Think we're gonna make 50 today? Looks like it. 50 stories down, 50 stories to go. I think we're gonna have this baby all punched in a week ahead of schedule. And what a view to lunch by. Beautiful. Jersey. Yeah. My home. That's what I love about working up here. We eat like kings. So, what's on the bill of fare today? Frankie, what do you got? I think it's liverwurst. Joe, how about you? No, wait. Wait, it's not liverwurst. It's tuna. I think. Well, I got corned beef and pastrami. Hey, Charlie, is that tuna or liverwurst? You got corned beef? With poupon mustard. On a normal Tuesday. What's the occasion? Well, who says there's an occasion? Hey, Joe, are you getting this? He's got corned beef and pastrami on a normal Tuesday. On bakery pumpernickel. On bakery pumpernickel with poupon mustard. Very nice. <laughs> Look at all those poor souls down there. Have to eat their lunch at sea level. <laughs> I'm the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo. <laughs> so, uh, what's in the news today, Joe? Anything hot in the paper? Hmm? You know, any, uh... International developments. Yeah, yeah, international developments. How's things in Europe? Any news? The news is that history is a cesspool. Oh. As it always was. We also learned that a woman in Astoria, Queens, lived with a guy for 15 years. Didn't know the guy had five other wives. Five other wives? In the same neighborhood. Charlie, did you hear this? Many things are possible <laughs> in this world. God, a guy with that many wives. Is that still big of me? It's geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, why don't you give me the TV section of the paper? I want to see what's on the TV. I don't want to hear anything about TV. I just want to see what I I don't want to hear no talk about TV. We got bowling tonight. I just want to see what I'm missing. Speaking of which, who's in for tonight? Oh, I'm in. Joe, are you in? I can't this week, Charlie. You want to bowl a few games tonight? I got things I got to do. <laughs> what? You got to nail up some doilies in your wife's powder room or something? <laughs> I got some things I got to do. So do them tomorrow. Bridget wants me to do them tonight. So bring her along and do them tomorrow. I can't do them tomorrow. Hey, gotta... hey, 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 hey. Who's the king in your house, huh? Who's the king? Who makes the rules? Gentlemen. When Maggie wanted you to put in that new floor, you didn't bowl for two weeks, Charlie. That was different. And because you couldn't bowl, you wouldn't let us bowl neither. That was different. Yeah, why was it so different? Just don't get small on me, Joe, okay? Why was it so different? I hate it when you get small on me like that. Gentlemen, please. Don't eat me, Joe. How's your wife doing, Frankie? Oh, she's good. The doctor fixed her up and everything? No, yeah, looks like it. She was out mowing the grass just yesterday. That's a sign. That's a sign. But hey, how's your new mower going? How's it working? Ah, it's busted. No. Yeah. Already? Yeah. So did you bring it back? Oh, I don't know why I ever cut my grass in the first place. <laughs> I like it long. I like to sit on my porch and look at it long. Where do you think the word lawn comes from in the first place? From long, because grass was always long. Originally, people said, I'm going to plant some seed and grow myself along. And some moron thought he'd be different and cut his long short. The rest is the history of fashion. I did not know that. <laughs> You say something, Joe? Who, me? Nah, I didn't say nothing. Yo, Pep Tack! You got any of them sugar cubes up there? Thanks! You guys have 
think about hang gliding home from work? <laughs> hang gliding home? Yeah, instead of driving or taking the path. Wouldn't you have to learn how to hang glide first? Well, sure, you'd learn. But then, after you wrapped up work, you could just strap on your wings, walk off the top floor, and sail home. Be the first person in history to fly from 32nd Street and 10th Avenue to Tenafly, New Jersey, with a fabulous view all the way. <laughs> Maybe after I retire. You know, I've been sitting here eating this thing all this time, and I still don't know if it's sooner or liver worse. Well, well, I saw the ozone up here. The what? The carbon dioxide at this altitude compresses the things in your nose and you can't taste nothing. <laughs> Did you say something, Joe? Not me. I guess the carbon dioxide was compressing my nose or something. <laughs> Speaking of flying, they got that movie about the Lindbergh kid on TV tonight. They got the what? That show about the Lindbergh Let me baby. See that. That, hey, what the hell are you doing? I just want to see. Hey, didn't you see that movie that time it was on? Yeah. Yeah, with uh, Anthony Hopkins as uh, what Bruno Hauptmann. Yeah. Hey, didn't that happen somewhere around here? Hopewell, New Jersey. What are they bringing that garbage back for? Garbage? Yeah. Who wants to see it all over again? It happens to be a very thoughtful movie for your information. And, as it happens, today is the anniversary of the day that Charles Lindbergh's baby was kidnapped. That happened 50 years ago. What's the big deal Jesus about? Christ died on Easter. They showed the King of Kings that weekend. <laughs> Gentlemen! Well, if you'd ever done anything more important than glue your wife's cat pictures into a photo album, they might show the Joe Morelli story on your birthday. Does that explain to you why the movie is on today? Gentlemen, please. And don't let me hear the word garbage. Charlie, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong. You're acting all weird. I'm not weird. So what's up? Garbage. I told you I do not want to hear the word garbage. Something and sure <clears throat> seems up. Nothing is up. Forget about it. Nothing's up. Here, Bert. <laughs>